Hey, good morning everybody. Well, this is going to be a summary recap for day uh, 18, which was yesterday and 19. Um, a little bit of a modification. Um, we found out uh, after I made the, the last video that um, Rock Gap Shelter actually is one of the pickup points for many of the destinations into Franklin as well as Winding Stair. So instead of getting up early uh, in the morning on Saturday and uh, and trying to hike into the waiting stair to then get into the hotel, we just arranged for a pickup. Um, uh, when you get bad weather coming, it's important to get reservations at the hostels or hotels or wherever you uh, end up wanting to go. And that was no exception for this weekend because uh, not so much the snow, but the temperatures were really falling. We had some forecasts up on some of the mountains, um, putting the temperature about uh, 22 degrees, winds uh, 15 miles an hour, so you know your wind chills are down around 9 degrees in the single digits. And honestly, um, the winter gear that we ha have, I don't think would, would support that kind of temperature. So uh, anyway, we were able to, uh, to uh, um, get a room for two nights at the Hampton Inn here in Franklin and using a military discount. For the two of us, it would equal the same as just me going into the Budget Inn, um, which is, it's a room and a bed. Uh, and you get to admit that uh, <laughs> the Hampton, we're going to get a free hot breakfast and uh, a lot better beds, clean. And uh, so we, we, we took that option. And where we're at here in Franklin, uh, there's an Ingalls uh, for us to do a resupply. There's a laundromat just right down the road. There's plenty of restaurants. The only thing is we're not in, uh, not uh, close to a uh, to an outfitter at all. Uh, one of the we ran into another hiker in the hotel uh, who was heading down to the outfitter, and I mentioned, "Hey, can you grab me a fuel canister?" And she just goes, huh, "I've got an extra one. I don't want to carry anymore." So she gave it to me. So uh, you know, the trail takes care of people, and people on the trail take care of each other, and so. Uh, didn't have to worry about going and getting a, uh, a resupply of, of fuel, and I've got that, so um, that took care of that. So when we, we decided to stay two nights, and because we didn't hike at all, technically it's two zeros in a row, which which I uh, feel like, you know, I've got the pressure feeling like getting behind, but at the same time, um, don't want to have to deal with that, uh, that really, that really brutal brutal cold. Matter of fact, the weather forecasts. Uh, and for those who don't know, um, atweather.org is a website that's uh, set up for AT hikers where you can choose, and it's based upon shelter locations, so you can choose the state, the shelter, you can go get the weather weather forecast. It's a real, it makes it really easy to kind of track what's going on, and, uh, and, they, and what they say is really true about Verizon. If you want to have a cell phone with good coverage for most of the trail, go with Verizon. Um, even up at Albert Mountain, I had uh, you know three bars of uh, Verizon 4G, and the guys, the people that had AT&T had no signal at all up there, let alone the other carriers. So, so if you're really serious about wanting to stay uh, in contact while you're on the trail, plan now ahead to 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 get Verizon um, if you really want to have that connectivity, and it helps you if it helps you with the weather, helps you with being able to get reservations ahead. Uh, so many people come into town. Thinking that they'll just walk up to the, you know, to the budget inns and the microtels and, you know, the cheap places, and the, especially the hostels, and they expect to have a room there, and they're like, no, man, we're full, uh, because people make reservations at a time, and for a lot of those places, you don't have to put down a credit card number to hold the reservation. They know you're a hiker, they know you're probably going to pay cash, and that's okay, but you gotta, you gotta get a reservation. Um, so when we go back, we'll go back to Rock Gap, and we'll climb up and then back down to the Winding Stair, and then continue on from there. I think we got way of bald uh, ahead of us, Siler's bald ahead of us. Um, some some pretty some pretty high climbs. Um, but uh, for the most part they're uh, they're not quite as steep as what I'd say George is. George tended to go straight up the mountain and straight down. Here they tend to use a little bit more switchbacks and and uh, make it a little bit easier um, on the body. Now reference Albert Mountain, yes it was a brutal climb, a lot of rock scram, but but you know it was fun. It was different, um, and it was challenging. And when you got up there, you felt like you had been you had been rewarded. I realized I didn't get any video from Albert Mountain. I got a lot of a lot of photographs that I took up there, 
but there was just uh, there were about uh, eight or ten people up there, and they were all just cutting up and just making a racket, and and uh, I, the quality of the video would have been would have been disruptive. So uh, I just got some some photographs, and at some point in time, I'll figure out how to to uh, interlace those uh, those photographs into the into that. But I did have that one little piece of that view, which was um, prior to climbing Albert Mountain, you could see the clarity. It was it was amazing the the distance you could see because you know here in the southeast with the humidity you don't have the visibilities like you do way out west and uh, it was it was kind of neat to be able to see ridge after ridge after ridge uh, out of the distance so I think there must have been 20 30 miles of visibility it was is actually incredible uh, and it's a, it was a beautiful day uh, when we got up uh, uh, Saturday today's Sunday by the way. We got up Saturday morning um, to um, go out to the uh, to get picked up. It was starting to spit a little, 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 little rain, but it really hasn't rained like it said it was going to or snowed yet. But yeah, the, but the temperatures are are uh, kind of on the brutal side. So there's a lot of heavy freeze warnings out for the cities, which are of course down the valleys. So you can imagine what it is up at altitude. So anyway, uh, that's a recap for uh, for these two days and. Uh, not much today planned except for rest, healing, maybe a little bit of barbecue. Uh, yeah, we're in Carolina, man. You got to go get barbecue. And uh, uh, then we'll be off tomorrow. I'm um, heading down on the trail. Um, so, anyway, Godspeed. Have a good Sabbath. Everybody, uh, everybody give each other a hug. I love you all. Bye.